John Davidson here with the editor of League Express, Martin Sadler, and we've got the NRL Grand Final on Sunday, uh, South Sydney and the Bulldogs. Well, the it, it is, John, and I think that there's going to be a record viewership in uh, in England, isn't there? Because we're all going to get up to see the Burgess brothers taking on the James Battle of Britain. Graham. The Battle of Britain, that's, <laughs> that's the subtext. In fact, it's almost tempting to say, you know, Australia, this is none of your business, mate. It's, uh, it's, it's one for us. Um, no, it's going to be a... A fascinating game, isn't it? I mean, you know, we've got we've got a game between two clubs where one is very clearly the favourite. You know, South Sydney are, are backed heavily, I think, to um, to win this game, and but the Bulldogs are the are the underdogs in this case, particularly without Michael Edwards, who we think won't play. Yeah, I know he's got stress um, fractures with, in his foot, with stress fractures unless in his he's got some miracle cure. Well, you never know, <laughs> going. and it could it could be the greatest contract in history, couldn't it? Who yeah. knows if he actually turns out? But we're assuming he won't do. Um, and fascinatingly, Isaac Luke, the uh, yeah, both South teams soccer. missing their, their hookers and both important both. players. Yeah, so um, so that should have a fairly unknown. That's an unknown element, yeah. isn't it, in, uh, in in the game? What will happen with both sides, both teams losing their um, their hookers? But uh, again, I can only really see one result. If I'm really honest about it, I can't, I can't see I can't see South coming all coming this far without winning the game, beating the Roosters in the uh, final uh, semi-final game, you know, which they did very convincingly, was an outstanding performance. I thought, and uh, Michael Maguire, of course, he's already won a grand final in England with Wigan uh, a few years ago, in two thousand and ten, um, and you know maybe this is his time again to uh, really stamp himself as a, a leading coach in Australia. Well, there's a weight of history on on South on their backs. It's forty three years since they've made a grand final. Forty three years. And yeah. the last two years they've. They've been knocked out at this point, you know, just before the grand final last game. Uh-huh. So they've finally made another one. You think history and momentum and form? Sure. They've, they've they've been, you know, smashing teams. Such a big forward pack they've got. So well, they have. I, the I fans mean, I, have I was, waited a long time for another. Well, I was uh, I was in Australia in, at Easter time, two thousand and two, which was the year when South came back into the competition after being kicked out, um, you know, in the Super League war. And them coming back in that year gave the competition a great boost, mm-hmm. you know. And of course, Russell Crowe was um, involved with a lot of famous people who were who were backing them, and, and you know have done to to this day. And it, it sort of was was great to see them coming back into the competition. They struggled um, that year, though. They you know they they didn't find it easy, but now they've really reached the pinnacle, and uh, they've got many thousands of members. Mm-hmm. Um, they've been an incredible success story. And you, you can, I mean, I hate to talk about destiny, um, but if you are going to talk about destiny, then it looks to me as though it sounds destiny to win this game this year. But, I mean, what can we say about the Bulldogs? Well, I mean, with the Bulldogs, I, I throw a weird stat at you. I think um, they've won a, a grand final in 2004, uh, in 1994. Uh, they seem to, there's, there's some weird stat that they... They always win a grand final. When the year in ends certain, before, yeah, in yeah. a certain year. Um, yeah. They've got Des Hasler, who obviously coached Manly to a grand final win in 2011. He's, He's a, a great, great coach. coach. One of the best coaches in the I once went to a seminar that he gave when um, when Manly were when he was coaching Manly and they were in the World Club Challenge a few years ago. And he, he gave a seminar about uh, coaching and management at um, an illegal firm in Leeds, in fact. And it was one of the most fascinating lectures I've ever heard. He was a very, very shrewd brilliant uh, brilliant person to listen to yeah no, so I, you know I would not underestimate he'll have his players um, ready and then mm. obviously South have a massive forward pack but then you look at the Bulldogs they've got obviously yeah. Graham they've got Tolman mm. they've got Frank Pritchard mm. Greg Eastwood and mm. the T-Rex Tony and they've Williams and got, they've got the wrestling you know off to a perfection haven't they let's face it they, both teams are very good to wrestle in the tackle the the, the, the rabbit are probably the kings of the wrestle, really, to be honest. And that's they have. such an important part of the game yeah. in, in, in the modern day in the NRL. So I think the cards are stacked against the uh, Bulldogs. You've also got uh, James Graham, of course, um, as we were saying earlier, with the Bulldogs. Now, James is a fantastic player. He's had a fantastic season. Of course, there was a bit of controversy last year at this time when he, he got, um, got that... Um, Lengthy ban for biting. the year before, yeah, yeah. Not, yeah, not he had a gnaw on before. Billy Slater's ear. Did. So, so, so it was said. Anyway, I, I actually doubted whether he did first. <laughs> I but, think you might have you had know, your eyes closed on yeah, that. Yeah, well, he certainly had his teeth there, but whether he, whether he bit him, I'm not sure. But you know, it, James Graham's got a record of 
of getting to grand finals, yeah. but unfortunately not got a great record of winning them. And uh, maybe the tide's going to turn for him this year. He's uh, he's been in unbelievable form, um, yeah. Delhi and proper the year, mm. and uh, I think it's just another. Uh, Look forward to the year, Sam Burgess in his last game of rugby league. Hopefully, Isn't that not for too long. I mean, uh, hopefully, can, it comes straight to the game. Who can believe that Sam Burgess wants to leave rugby league, uh, given the amount of success he's had at South? But good luck to him, and uh, you know, good luck to um, all the Burgess boys and to James Graham. We're all looking forward to a tremendous match. Yeah, can't wait.